Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today we're going to be shooting Hornady Custom 150 grain SSTs out of the 308 Winchester. And here's the box for that Hornady Custom 150 grain SST 308 Winchester load. They don't have any promo information on the back of the box, just like a bunch of warnings and nonsense information. But they do give you a stated velocity, 2820 feet per second. It'll be interesting to see how close we get to that from the 22 inch barrel of my Ruger American. But let me go ahead and open this box up and we can take a look at the ammo itself. Here you go, comes in a a plastic container whip one out real quick and there you go that classic SST red tip good looking stuff let's go shoot it and see how it does and my test rifle today is my Ruger American Standard, chambered in 308 Winchester, of course. It has a 22-inch barrel. I did have it threaded so I could use a Silencer Co. Hybrid 46 suppressor. And coming on back, I've got it topped off with a Vortex Diamondback 4 to 16 by 42 scope. Definitely helps see the gel blocks down there. And of course, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs on the buttstock. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would love to make you one. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings on there. Those are also available on my website. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my whitetail deer design. And check out the brand new Shop the Mason Outdoor Store feature below this video. If you don't have YouTube Premium, just scroll down a bit to find it. I've built a brand new website, masonoutdoors.com, where you can get all my favorite range gear and outdoor equipment. Everything you see, I personally use and can recommend with confidence. And every purchase helps me bring you more YouTube videos. Click the items below or visit my website masonoutdoors.com to get all my favorite gear that I think you'll love too. Links are in the video description and the pinned comment. Now, back to the video. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are the velocities for that Hornady Custom 150 grain SST load out of the 308. We had a minimum of 2742, a max of 2756 for an average of 2750. And we'll get more in depth with velocity here in a second. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Hornady Custom 150 grain SST load out of the 308 Winchester. We captured all three bullets. And interestingly, we had massive energy transfer right up front. You should see that in the clip right before this where this front block just goes flying every time and then it also penetrated nice and deep which is very interesting you see one two three bullets right there so let's go ahead and look at penetration this back block is a little bit cloudy i can't use brand spanking new blocks on every load or it would cost me a lot more than it already is which is substantial we got 22 inches 23 inches and then this one came back all the way to 29 inches there it is right there actually 29 and a half inches on that third one and i've come over to the other side so we can see the bullets a little bit better here's the front two it looks like we did get really good mushrooming actually some good expansion on all three one did go a little bit deeper than the rest and then up front we've got a good wound track that opens up at about the one and a half inch mark going back and closes up at about the 11 inch mark real good energy transfer we do have quite a bit of fragmentation you can see the little bits and pieces of bullet in here it'll be interesting to see what the retained weight on these remaining chunks of bullet is and this is an sst bullet super shock tip so it's not supposed to just retain a whole bunch of weight it's supposed to do exactly what it did which is provide a bunch of shock up front and interestingly still penetrate pretty deep interesting so let's go ahead and dig them out and take a look all right y'all we've got the bullets recovered from the blocks let's go ahead and go over all the metrics for those 150 grain sst's from the hornady custom line weight retention we saw 94 grains 110 grains and 116 grains for an average of 107 grains retained weight and that works out to 71 percent weight retention pretty par for the course for sst that's what i would expect an sst to do they're not bonded they're not supposed to hold together they're not marketed as holding together particularly well 
they're gonna hit and blow up and dump a bunch of energy, and that's exactly what these did. And then onto expansion, we saw 0 0.46, 0 0.61, and 0.67 inches expanded diameter for an average of 0.58 inches expansion. That works out to 1.9X expansion. And take a look at these bullets here in the photo. The retained expansion just isn't there. The pedals fold back, the copper folds back on itself. A lot of weight has been shed. A lot of the lead that was in the front of the bullet is now you know, dispersed in the target. And this mirrors what I've seen from some other SST loads. They just don't have a bunch of retained expansion, we'll call it at the end of the day. They shed their weight, they deliver a punch, then they fold up. On to velocity, our high velocity was 2,756 feet per second. Our low was 2743 for an average of 2750 versus the factory build velocity of 2820. So we did come in 70 feet per second slow. That's sort of par for the course for a lot of factory ammo. Most of it doesn't hit box spec out of a 22 inch barrel, which is what we're using. That is by far the most common barrel length for a 308 Winchester in a hunting rifle, 22 inches or shorter actually. Factories aren't using that to test the ammo and they're printing numbers on the box that aren't realistic in the real world with people using rifles with realistic barrel lengths. And that's why I present the velocity to you. So you know what's actually going on. Yeah, there's 24 inch and 26 inch barrel 308s out there, but they're in the vast minority. And now we're gonna talk about impact velocity. So how fast is that bullet going down there at 100 yards when it hits the ballistics gel? Now this is based off of a calculation, but I do use factory provided data for input, so it's gonna be very close. It is an estimate though, just, you know, there's that caveat. So the impact velocity at 100 yards for this bullet is gonna be about 2,558 feet per second. Just one more thing to know. And now we'll talk about penetration. We saw 22 inches, 23 inches, and 29 and a half inches of penetration for an average of about 25 inches of penetration, which you might think at first glance is sort of odd for an SST. You know, it's gonna open up rapidly, dump a lot of weight, but think back to the expansion. It folds in on itself, and so a little chunk of bullet's gonna keep on going without a whole ton of resistance because, you know, the expansion's just not there. And you're gonna get a little bit deeper penetration out of at least what's left left of the bullet, at least in this case. And in kinetic energy wise, with a 150 grain bullet going on average 2,750 feet per second, we're looking at 2,518 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on that Hornady Custom 150 grain SST load out of the 308 Winchester. Performance wise, I think this ammo did exactly what I would expect it to do. It's an SST bullet super shock tip. It's gonna dump some weight, deliver a punch up front, not have a lot of retained weight, but deliver just a nice solid jolt. And I think that's exactly what it did. Now, if you're someone who wants to, you know, eat right up to the hole and not have to pick lead and stuff out, this might not be the ammo for you, but if you're hunting sort of smaller medium game, this is this is kind of what I would use it for, smaller medium game, white tail deer, prong horn, white tails are a little bit smaller, and you're just wanting to lay the hammer down on these things and put them down, I think this would be an excellent choice. So let me know in the comments what you think about this ammo. Would you use it? What would you use it for? Or is there an alternative that you'd rather use? And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.